This book is called The Watermelon Seed, and it doesn't have a cover anymore because it's so well loved that it has lost its cover over the years, but its outside looks like what? The outside of a... Watermelon. Hmm. And look at the title, or the cover. What? The, uh... Watermelon. Yes. End papers. Oh my lord. <laughs> End papers are watermelon seeds. And what fruit has a big old bite taken out of it there, Jules? No tablet. No. Please let's try to get yeah. it. Okay, all right. Here's our title page, The Watermelon Seed by Greg Pizzoli. This is a book from the Kerr family. They sent this to Eleanor when she was a baby. Who? Oh, they're watching. I love watermelons. Chop, chop, chop. It's the best. Would you like my alligator voice? Number one watermelon. Mm -hmm. Here's the watermelon tiny. Ever since I was a teeny tiny baby crocodile, it's been my favorite. Chomp, sort of chomp. Okay. It rhymes. Yeah. I like it for breakfast. I like it for lunch. I like a big salty slab for dinner. And I love it for dessert. Mm -hmm. Look at this. That looks like ice cream. Mm. I love watermelon. Oh, I just swallowed a sea. I swallowed a seed. You think so? It's growing in my guts. Soon vines will come out of my ears. My stomach will stretch. My skin will turn pink. I don't want to be in a fruit salad. Somebody please help me. Grumble, grumble. Oh no, I can feel it growing inside me. It's happening right now. Is my stomach feels funny. He's gonna barf it out, that's great. Oh, here's the seed. That was too close. No more melon for me. Never again. Yes, melon for you. Maybe just one tiny, teeny tiny bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> you need the seed again. Maybe, or maybe you just had too much watermelon. You guys do that in the summertime. No, I don't. 